Welcome back to the CICD tutorial using GitHub Actions. Uh, to remind ourselves, so what we did, we we added uh, the fit CI to our existing code, and then we we learn how to test uh, the code against different versions. And recently, we did we was to learn how to run serial jobs meaning how you can instruct CI to make some jobs run after other jobs. Now we'll try to do a scheming. What does that mean? So let's start first where we stopped. Uh, we, okay, I can open here on my right side as you can see of my screen. Uh, let's open my my configuration, as you can see. So what we did was to uh, ask uh, the build scheme to run after greeting. If you remember what is greeting is testing against two versions. And then the, the, the goal of this job was to compile this C++ code and to build a binary. So now this binary, we're going to test it. Uh, for that, we need to add uh, another job, which also uh, runs in, in sequential uh, after the build scheme. Then what we're gonna do is to make a new a new job uh, with name scheme uh, that needs build scheme which runs on Ubuntu the test but we need a docker image that has root for that let's just use this specific version here that we're interested in, which is version 6.18.04. And next, we have to put steps. Uh, if you remember the first steps, we need, we need to check out the repository first. Once we have the repository, we can now tell actions to check out we need also uh, let's call it scheme and then we want, what we want to run is the executable binary. Great. Let's do a quick check by running Atmos. Ah, now you can see we have three stages. So the first greeting, then build scheme, and then scheme. Okay, let's now add those changes to GitHub, git add, GitHub flow main, and let's commit with the message at scheme job. Let's now git push minus u origin, the name of our working branch, which is act. Okay, seems to be correct. Now we can go here to actions and monitor uh, what we just and you can see uh, there are some job waiting for others to finish. As you can see, read here, so the greetings, is, the greeting job is done. Now the build scheme is starting now and the scheme is waiting. So this can take a few minutes. 
oh, we can see there is a failure. Uh, let's track the log. Okay, the log is here. Okay, well, let's go back to our tutorial page while this loading. So what if you look at the message, you, we will find that the, this kind of error message, uh, this was not found. And uh, the explanation is easy, is that the, when the compilation is completed, uh, the build binary wasn't propagated to the next job. And for that, we have to instruct CI that that's what, that what we want. And there is a parameter called artifact that we need to use. In that case, we will tell uh, this job to upload the artifact and then we also ask the second job to download uh, the, those artifacts that are attached to this uh, build scheme job. And how to do so, you, you can find the syntax here we can use. Let's try to apply this to our case, uh, GitHub workflow main. What we have to do is to go to the build scheme job after it has completed and do another step. Okay, let's give it, okay, we don't have to give it a name. We can just go immediately and call actions. upload artifact and then we have to also to specify uh, the name of the artifact like if you uh, can see here we have we have two artifacts because this is a, a matrix job so there is two uh, a binary, one built with this version and another one built with the latest version. Let's just upload both of them. I can call it scheme. Uh, it's better I add this environment variable so that all of them will be uh, uploaded. And then we have to put the file here. It will be the path to the file and it's just scheme. As you can see here, we are building scheme. Uh, okay. And then we have to go to the following job. Maybe after the checkout of the repository, then add another step. What matters is just this uh, download must happen before you, 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 you run. Okay, let's now call uh, users action. Now we want to download artifact. Okay, upload now the download artifact. What we need just is to say to precise the name. Uh, the name, we can find it here. We say scheme. We can, since we, what we need maybe for this example, let's right, just, uh, let just download only uh, the scheme from the compilation using root 6.18.04. Okay, once now we have everything set up, we can go ahead and add it again. What do we do? Let's do add GitHub workflow main. Oh, 
I forget git. Git. Now we have to tell git commit with message. Now we've add artifact. And then git push minus u origin and the name of the uh, working branch, which is add actions. Okay, now we can monitor from actions. You can see at artifact, we can see the status. There are some waiting jobs and then scheme is, would be uh, waiting the build scheme to finish. And this might take a few minutes. I failed again. Let's again check out the, the log message. Uh, we can see that permission 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 denied. Okay, let's go back to our main. So what we we saw is that there was a permission denied. And we faced this situation before. Uh, we now how we know how to fix this by using the shimod command. Let's now go on and fix this, as we know how to fix that. We will go here, and then we want to make. And before we do this, we can now ask to add the permission. That scheme should be executable. There should be enough. Okay, let's, let's again add git hub work from main git commit with the message add permission and then git push minus u origin the name of the branch feature add actions well let's now monitor uh, this one add permission uh, it's also gonna take a few minutes. Ah, okay, let's, let's dig in this log again. What we see now is a message. So we can see there was no error in uh, here, but now the executable, it's, we have permission, but what happened is that to run this uh, binary, uh, there is argument that are required. If we go back to our main, to our page, we can see that we need a couple of argument in order to be able to scheme. Uh, we we'll di we'll discuss this in the uh, next video. Hope to see all of you there. Thank you.